Warning, the acts you are about to see have been designed, rehearsed, and will be performed live by highly trained, experienced individuals. Many of these acts are extremely dangerous. Under no circumstances should they be tried by viewers at any time. This is Phenomenon. We're live and on this eerie Halloween night. The only thing certain is elimination. Last week, our first four competitors attempted to amaze you with their mental skills. America has spoken, and now two must go home. Did Ehud Segev leave you mesmerized? Will Jim Carroll continue his journey into the unknown? Can Erin Raven defy elimination? Will Jerry McCambridge be able to predict his fate? Only you, America, have the answers. Two masters of the mind. Ten extraordinary talents. But only one can become the phenomenon. to find America's phenomenon takes an unsettling turn. Tonight, you will witness many shocking and disturbing feats of the mind that will alter your view of what is possible and impossible. Later, we will be venturing into the world of the paranormal as one of our competitors attempts to make contact with the dead. Whilst others will be risking their lives, it's going to be an unforgettable Halloween. Here to give their verdict on tonight's performances are two masters of the mind. Please welcome from A&E's mind freak, Chris Angel. And the mesmerizing Uri Geller. Also taking part in tonight's mind games, our special guest, TV host and former Miss USA, Shandy Finnessy. He was so funny last week, we invited him back for more mental torture from The Tonight Show. Ross Matthews. <laughs> and actress and singer, Raven Simone. <laughs> Welcome to Phenomenon. Everything happening on this stage tonight will be completely live. There are no retakes and no second chances. Most importantly, our guests have not rehearsed with any of our competitors. Raven, can you confirm that this is true? Yes, I can. Thank you very much. You and your votes alone will decide who wins the quarter of a million dollar prize and becomes the phenomenon. In a few moments, two will be leaving the competition, but who will it be? Determined to stay, please welcome last week's competitors. Thank you. I'm Jim Carroll, the psychic madman, and I have a special Halloween treat for everyone tonight. Young lady, can you stand up? What is your name? Mandy. Mandy. Think of a deck of cards right now. Imagine just one card. Are you ready? Name it. Two of hearts. Hold your hands up in the air. Now look down your shirt, Mandy. Yeah, just look down your shirt, really. Pretty cool, huh? Let me see. The two of hearts. Have a nice hand for Mandy, everybody. All right. Thank you. Have you ever taken a balloon, rubbed it on your hand, and stuck that against the wall? That's static electricity, right? Here, rub, 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 rub your hands. Rub your hands. Rub your hands. Here, tell me if you feel this, Raven. Do you feel that heat? Yeah. You do, huh? Here, let, let, yeah. You feel that heat? No. No? no? Do you feel yeah. it now? Yeah. Isn't that hot? Yeah. Let, me, let me borrow your sunglasses okay. for a minute. Good thing I had them. Great. Keep on, keep on rubbing your hands, please. And we're going to focus all of our energy. Raven, would you put your left hand on my right hand right there? Just like that. Shandy, put your... There. You got it. Now focus your energy on those glasses. In your mind, see them start to move. Just in your mind, see them slowly start to move. 
Um, keep on focusing. Oh, keep on focusing. Screaming. Keep on thinking about it. Uh, Shut up! Grab him! Grab him! Grab him! Make sure to oh, grab him! Oh my, oh my goodness! Are you serious? <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi there. I'm Jerry McCambridge. Happy Halloween, everybody. I'd like to try something with a mind-body connection. We're going to use my mind, and I'd like to use your body. Would you stand up for a second, my dear? Turn and face. I have a little silhouette of a body here. What I'm going to do is put some little marks on it. So I'm going to put an L here for left. I'm going to put an R there for right. The final marking I'll place on it, you will not see. So close down your eyes. And I'm going to put a little mark on the card so nobody can see what it is. And I'm going to focus my mind on a part of your body. When I say three, you're going to take your hand, either one of your hands, and point to any part of your body. Ready? Go. Ooh. So you pointed to your right shoulder? Yes. That's interesting. It's a little mark on the right and the shoulder. Wow. Oh. Happy Halloween. Thank you, my dear. Good evening. I'm Elhud Segev, also known as the Mentalizer. And the cool part is that I have Ross's credit card. Ross. <laughs> Just to confirm for everybody that is watching us at home, did you just give me this credit card? I just gave you my credit card, yes. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. no. Wait for of energy right about here, and then I can do this. What? The credit just goes up here. Did you get that? Yeah. Oh, that's actually the easy part. I actually teach it on my website. I want to show you something even better. Watch this. When the card goes all around my body and back what? into my hand. Okay. What you've just seen is probably six years wasted for my childhood. <laughs> I want to show you the seventh theory. It was something like making the card going in between my hands, all over to the other side, Shut and back up, okay. into my hand. No. Ladies and gentlemen, and thank you, thank you. But the coolest part is that Ross now has a revolving credit on this one. That's How it. did you do that? Thank you so much. That's crazy. They are all incredible, fantastic performances from Jim Carroll, Aaron, Jerry, and Ahud. And upping the ante on this Halloween night with their amazing mental skills are tonight's six new competitors. Ladies and gentlemen, before the show started, I asked Shandy to think randomly of a p place, a person, or a thing that's in your mind. I told her I would be reading her mind. I didn't tell her that the entire United States would be reading her mind also because when I read somebody's mind, it sort of pulses out. So you're going to take part in this. Shandy, think of it now. It's in your mind. It's a dead person, isn't it? Yeah. It is. A dead, well, that's wow. appropriate for me. That's all right. Okay. <laughs> um, think, of, it's a singer, right? Everybody think of the first dead singer that comes to your mind. Shandy, write it on your slip. Ladies and gentlemen, raise your hand. This is what you thought of Shandy. What do you have? The audience <laughs> and the United States read her mind. Wild and thunderous applause. Thank you so much. They say strength comes from within. I believe that things are only as tough and indestructible as you allow them to be. When things look impossible, don't be intimidated. Believe in your dreams. And you will make them a reality. Let's play Three Flowers and a Lady. Are you game? Yes, three flowers, you'll pick one, but I will lead you by my suggestion to one specific flower. What is your first name? Luciani. Hey, Luciani. If I fail, this $100 bill is yours. Are you interested? Yes. <laughs> okay, have a look at them. A rose, a lily, and a daisy. Now look into my eye. Into my eye. Now, pick out one. You're picking out the lily. Hey, there's a little note attached. Remove the two other flowers. Is there anything there? 